Step 1. Short bridges. We've just discussed the importance of the posterior chain group of muscles, the spine, the hip flexors, glutes, hamstrings and so on. Most coaches understand how important this chain is to basic actions such as sprinting, throwing and so on. As a result, many people appreciate the importance of posterior chain training for strength, performance and safety. Most people do this using weighted exercises like deadlifts or good mornings. Before we get to more advanced bridges, which require lots of waist and spine flexibility, it's best to start with short bridges, which will strengthen your back and hips gradually and without strain. Basic posture. Lie on your back with hands crossed on your stomach. Your feet should be drawn in approximately six to eight inches from your butt. Your feet should be flat on the floor and approximately shoulder width apart. Positive. Push through your feet and lift your butt off the floor. Keep your knees relaxed and neutral. Continue pushing until your spine and hips form a straight line with no sagging. Breathe normally throughout the exercise. Pause in this position for at least a one count. Negative. Reverse the movement and slowly lower your hips back down. Lower yourself under muscular control. Don't just collapse onto the floor. Continue until you've reached the starting position again and repeat. Hidden steps, short bridges. This exercise shouldn't pose a problem unless you're very deconditioned. If you have trouble, reduce the range of motion at first by placing some cushions under your hips. Progression levels, short bridges. Begin this exercise with one set of 10 reps and gradually add reps from workout to workout. When you can perform a strict set of 25, add a second set of 10. Build up to two sets of 25, then add a third set of 10. From there, work up to three sets of 50 before moving to step two.